guys. Um, so today this video is basically all about using your ears and um, I think that can be kind of like an underrated part of learning guitar and just any musical instrument. In a way there's kind of two ways that you can be taught um, when you're starting up and one of them is you know through kind of sheet music and here's um, everything on notation and you can read it and particularly with guitar that's usually with classical musicians um, that want to play in an orchestra you know like piano p potentially or violin um, viola and you know all that kind of stuff is usually you, you learn that through notation whereas with guitar it's kind of it's a bit of a different a bit of a different story really you tend to get taught by learning songs and picking things up by ear and that's how I personally learn and um, when I was younger I tried to um, sort of respond to my piano teacher who um, bless her tried to get me to learn to read notated music but I just I just couldn't do it you know and um, so she luckily she was a great teacher and she adapted she recognized quickly that um, I would love music and I wanted to play but that I'd need some kind of other way of um, learning so she uh, just taught me by sight basically here's a chord here's how you play it this is what it sounds like and uh, just went from there really so um, I was quite lucky in that respect but there's um, there's merit to both you know uh, especially as I got to later on in life and I realized that out there in the professional world of music learning to read notes is you know it's almost a must with most areas you know stage performance session work um so i'm trying to build that at the moment but it's still um uh it's it's hard when you've been learning you know for years just by ear um but the positive side is that you know my ear i think has kind of adapted over time and i feel like i'm basically able to play in any given environment with any style of music now what i mean by that is if an artist comes up to me and um, says, look, I'm looking for a guitarist to do this, this and this, you know, has a list in their head of what they want. You need to be able to adapt and kind of um, work with the artist um, to what they want, you know. And the first thing that you need to recognise is, you know, the basic stuff. What's the tempo? What's the what's the key? You know, is it major? Is it minor? And you once you're able to pick up these things and you'll be able to adapt really quickly and luckily with music it's not dependent on genre as in you can this applies to every single genre of music which is what i'm about to show you in this video so i'm about to basically go through a few different songs all hopefully on really contrasting genres and i'll just kind of explain to you what my process is when i'm working songs out and um, particularly for lead players and not only chords, but working out the how to improvise and what scale it's over. They're all relevant. So the first song that I thought I'd play is um, one that's kind of quite popular at the moment uh, called Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. Is that how you say it? Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah. And um, so I'll just play this now and I'll just go with you my process of how I would work this out. So I can't work that bit out, that sounds like a car alarm. Okay, so here we go. So, that doesn't sound right. Okay, down the semitone, B flat, that works. Okay, so is that the key? I'm not sure, so we've worked out B. That's the first chord. Now, let's stop this. Okay, is that, sorry, B flat. So we're talking about so worked out there was a B flat now the next um, process that you'd have to work out is it major or minor now a major chord would sound like this and a minor chord would sound like this okay so let's let's work this out so let's keep going that doesn't sound right okay so we've established that it's B flat major Now we're lucky with this song. So I've, what I've done there is I use my ears to work out what the first chord was. A lot of the time with music, the first chord, it, 
it's this isn't every time so this isn't it's all completely dependent sometimes it will start on a different chord in the progression but this time it starts on the root note and so it's just trial by error you know working out is it major is it minor okay it's minor doesn't sound right you kind of have to use your ears to work these things okay does that that didn't sound right when i played the major note it sounded right and this this you know will take a little bit of time but this is just how i go through it and then okay so this is the scale b flat major oh not that okay see we're quite lucky there because what it's done is is it's gone all the way up the scale was it so So by them, just them notes alone, you can kind of you can work it out from there. So be listening to what's the vocals doing. Try and replicate the notes of the vocals. Try and work out the chords. All these things are relevant. And that's over this, over the four chord, which is a um, uh, which is a E flat. So yeah, that's that song basically. And that doesn't change key. You know, sometimes songs change key. And that's just, I thought we could start there. So that's B flat major. And then I'll just do a little bit of improvising. So once we know that, B flat, B flat major pentatonic. So. go so that was just a little bit of improvising there for that one so once i've established the chords and the key signature i can do whatever i want over it it's just then up to you to um be able to know your how to play the scales you know and licks around that but that today we're just going to be going on like going about how to find a key center rather than licks themselves and stuff so b flat major now this next song um is a completely different style but um, I'm going to go through a really similar process. So let's let's try th this one's called Wild Side by Motley Crue, one of my favourite bands. So here we go. OK, so that's quite a lot going on in the first few seconds of that. But we can still tell a lot by them first few chords. So so let's listen to it again. I mean, I know the song, so that kind of helps. So I've, so, starts on a G, and that's it, so right, it's G, is it G major? No, it's... Okay, so we've established that first chord is a G minor 7, so... I think the actual, the, the band themselves, uh, just a little bit of knowledge, that they tuned down a whole step, so it would originally be played in like on an A string. But because we're in standard, the actual key itself is a G minor 7. So G minor, essentially. Okay, so G minor. So with G minor, it goes to a minor, uh, to a C minor. Um, as the four chord. So it's the sixth note of the scale that defines that C minor. So we'd be thinking, but let's see what it does instead. So. Okay, so that next chord is a, right, it's a C, but it's not a, it's a, it's a C major. It's like a sus4, C major sus4. Now then, that chord is extremely important in working out the scale, because now 
We haven't got. We haven't got a C minor. We've got a C major. So that note changes. Okay, it changes to an E. It would have been an E flat if it was just G minor. But now it becomes G Dorian. Because that sixth note has changed. See, that's the key note in this riff. So we've worked that out, that's G Dorian. So let me just play you an example. So if I was doing minor, see, the minor doesn't work. You have to, go so that's uh, that's the next one so that's G Dorian and with G Dorian the main note that's changed so it's close to G minor we what we've done is we've taken the sixth and we've sharpened it two, three, four, five. what would usually be the E flat now becomes an E two, three, four, five. and I could only work that out because I was listening to the chords you know So to work out everything, you really have to pay attention to what the chords are doing um, and they'll define the scale for you. OK, so that's that's song number two. Now, the next one, what have I got on here? OK, so now we're moving forward a little bit in, in harmony. So we started off with just a simple sort of major scale uh, in the B flat major with um, driver's license. And then we moved on to wild side, which is G Dorian which adds in a, a new element there. So it's not just a straight minor or major scale. It's got a slight difference. Now this next one, um, I chose Fists of Fury by Kamazi Washington. Now I wanted something that was a bit new, like sort of new jazz style music. So I'd searched up a few things and I'd heard of Kamazi Washington before, but um, never really listened to his stuff. But this song is awesome. Um, from what I've heard, I haven't even heard the whole thing actually. I've just kind of Let's sort of prep the first bit a little bit, but um, let's anyway, let's go right into it. So, listen. okay, so let's just take that first bit for a minute. So, dun, 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 dun. so let's sing it back. Bam, bam, bada. So, that's the note that we're looking for. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, there we are. So, it's an E flat. Bam, bam, bada. Now, is that major or minor? Dun, 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 dun. Let's have a listen. Let's play it from the beginning. No. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We found out. We tried the major, didn't sound right over that chord. So we check, we try minor. That works. Dun, 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 dun. So that one's quite helpful, you know. So we'd be thinking. But that's just the first, that's just the natural minor scale, what you'd associate with E flat minor. Um, but let's move forward. That's just, you know, this song is nine minutes long. So <laughs> that's just the first chord. Let's see where it goes. So it's still natural minor sounding. Okay, there's a new chord. Again. So what? So that's gone to the five chord. Now usually in the um, it would be a minor, just a straight minor chord, but it's gone to a major. Okay, so usually in a minor key, the fifth chord um, in a natural minor would be. Um, so it, we're in E flat minor, so it'd be a B flat minor, but it's not, it's gone to a major or a seven. 
which means this note has changed to this. So now we no longer have, we have, which is harmonic minor. So what we've done is we've changed the seven there is the difference. So with wild side, it was the fourth chord, the G minor to C major, which made it Dorian. Now with this one, we're in E flat minor. The fifth chord is changed from, from a minor chord to a major chord. And that makes it harmonic minor because we sharpen the seven. See, it's the little things that you need to be looking out for. The little sound, like listen to the chords. So we've got that first one, E flat minor. If it was just um, a B flat minor, then it would, we wouldn't have to change anything, but it's not, it's this. It's got this note in. The other thing to note about this is the six isn't clear. We haven't heard the four chord yet. So we don't know whether the, if that's minor or major. If that's major, then it becomes melodic minor. But we don't know yet because we haven't heard the four chord, so we can't tell. So it's all about the chords. Listen to what the chords are doing. So. Back to natural minor. It's not. So listen to that bit again. Let's go back. Where are we? Oh, I went back a bit farther. Oh, that was wrong. See, it's trial and error. So the chords there are what's really important. Let's, let's rewind that again. Oh, my, my fingers are not very nimble when it comes to rewinding. Let's try. You can, you can hear that. Back to that seven note again. I'm not exactly sure what that chord is, but I can hear that kind of note propping in there somewhere back to the hum. So it's back to the harmonic minor. So I'm going now to melodic minor. So it goes to that note. So. Sounds to me anyway like a D diminished. Let's have another listen. See, this is a trickier song to work out. It's got more different textures to it. <laughs> See? Some piano did some mad little arpeggio on the. It's, it's really accenting that seven, uh, that seventh note in the fifth chord on the B flat major. Whatever. And now this chord. So it's, yeah, I mean it's, it's kind of around like a sort of D diminished. you know the D diminished has it doesn't have that note but it still implies that it's going into substitutions now I'm losing my way a bit but anyway so we're thinking diminished 
Okay, so this is what I'm saying. Follow the chords. Um, so there we go. That's Fists of Fury. That's about as far as I got with this one. So that's the end of part one. And uh, I'm going to release a second part of this video tomorrow because it's uh, actually ended up being a lot longer than I was expecting. So, uh, yeah, this was kind of the introduction um, and we'll delve into a bit more complicated harmony tomorrow as well. So I hope this was helpful. Cheers. See you tomorrow.